Hello, this is Rich Campy, your thinking coach with Pro Advisor Coach. Today's green message, I am grateful for all the ways we can stay connected. And the intentional message is, stay connected. Let's learn more about that right now. Staying connected, how do we do it? I mean, there's simple ways, you know, with little cards that you can write. Um, but also, I look at all these pictures. I stay connected. I mean, both of my parents have passed away, but having pictures of them out and the kids, and you know, I got four generations there of, you know, my grandfather who passed away. Um, God bless him. And you know, my dad and my mom passed away. And but I still feel this deep, deep place of staying connected to them. And I, I do it through pictures, and I do it through just memories of the past, and it's just awesome. But even as I look forward, you know, Camden, our daughter, is away at college. And we started playing backgammon when we were, when she was here to visit. And you can see here in her room that I went ahead and, and set up the board and put it in her room and I put down that it's her turn. And, you know, this is a great way to stay connected because my dad and I used to do this. Um, when I was away at college and I started working and uh, we used to play chess and I just have so many amazing memories of connecting with my dad because I'd be coming back home and he'd be like, it's your move, buddy. And um, we'd sometimes have a game going for three or four years and it's just awesome memories of what that can create. So find those little ways that you could create connections. It might be through a vlog like this, which is one way I get to stay connected with a lot of people. Um, it might be through a handwritten note. And one of our awesome coaches, and Camden didn't make her bed back there. <laughs> I guess that's a way she was wanting to stay connected to remind me when she was gone. But um, I was thinking about one of our coaches, Coach Matt, Coach Matt Drinkout, and a huge shout out to him because this guy gets it. I mean, he understands the power of connection and the power of creating systems to connect. So great story. He got a digital watch several years ago and we're driving back from a meeting one time and his watch goes off and it was at the strangest time. I think it was like 2.37 in the afternoon. He goes, oh, oh hold on one second. I said, okay. And he jumps on his phone and he makes a phone call and he says, hey, Brad, I just want to let you know, I'm thinking about you. I really appreciate you. It's been a long time since we connected, but I wanted to let you know, I really think you're great. I really enjoyed the last time we were together when we were connecting at the sports bar and look forward to connecting again. Appreciate you. You're important to me. Thank you. And hangs up. I said, what was that? He goes, well, this is my reminder on my watch. You know, it goes off and I don't know the exact time, but it's, let's say it's 2.38 PM every day. He says, every time it goes off, it reminds me to connect with someone. I thought, whoa. I said, why 238? He goes, well, when I got the watch, I couldn't figure out how to turn off the alarm that kept going off at 238. So I just left it on there and said, you know what? I'm going to use that as a way to connect with people. And so every time his watch goes off at that time, if at all possible, he will stop what he's doing apologize to whoever that is and say, just give me a minute. Let me make a quick phone call. Let me send a quick text. Let me send an email. And he's been doing that now for at least a year that I know of, probably several years. And if you're around and we're with them, you'll see that happen. So huge shout out to Coach Drinkon for making it happen. Just one simple thing that he's doing every day to reach out and stay connected. Do you stay connected on Facebook? Is it LinkedIn? Is it through cards? Is it through a backgammon or chess game with your family? Is it through some on online medium like vlogs or playing pool online or or backgammon or chess so what are you doing to stay connected pick one thing maybe that you could do today to get something started to stay connected with the people you love you care about and maybe those you don't even know yet that you could be loving or caring about this is coach rich campy your thinking coach i will believe not doubt i will love not fear i will empower not enable I will respond, not react. I am intentional, congruent, and patient. I'm a catalyst for health and healing in myself and others. I direct my physiology, questions, and focus to be the best for me and others. I will apologize promptly when I am wrong. I will give myself and others grace. 
I will forgive myself and others. I am grateful, joyful, and humble. I only compare myself as I am to myself as I used to be. I will continuously move in the direction of my higher power. I am a force for good. I am a force for God. Step up. Set a new standard. Step up. Step up.